All right, I'm going to do a video showing you yet another example of the fact that Hinduism is no different than Islam when it comes to the violent, bloody, barbaric nature of both religions. So anyway, this is out of India because India, you know, whenever you have a Hindu majority like India, you're going to have this kind of stuff go on on a regular basis because like I said, you know, the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Hindus. Just like the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims. And here's an example of this. This is on Hindutva Watch says a uh, taxi driver attacked with knives after sharing gospel with passenger in india uh, christian post so essentially you have these hindu thugs who are slashing and attacking this guy uh, because he simply shared a gospel you know shared a gospel tract or whatever yeah that's hinduism in a nutshell every bit as violent and barbaric and bloody as islam or judaism or roman catholicism so anyway it says in the article a christian pastor in northern india who drives a taxi for a living didn't think he had anything to fear when a well-mannered sikh Asked him to take a slight detour. Pastor Shukdev uh, Mark, 47 years old, had dropped him off the previous night at a hotel in Ambala, Haryana. I'm actually screen recording. Yeah, in Haryana. Uh, it says, uh, state after picking him up from a Gudra or Sikh place of worship. A during her and by the way, Sikhism, you know, Hinduism, it's basically just the same thing, pretty much. Sikhism is just uh, essentially repackaged Hinduism, but going on. Uh, during their conversation, Pastor Mark shared him a gospel track, which the Sikh, Sikh man politely accepted. He said the Sikh called him the next day, September 15th, requesting that he take him from the hotel to the airport in Amir Amiristar, whatever you say that. I, ca I can't pronounce some of these names properly. Uh, I said, fine, I have no problem. Then he asked me again, are you a pastor? Uh, and Pastor Mark said, I told him yes, and I lead a small church also, and also share the gospel, and I drive a taxi for a living. The Sikh man told him to pick him up at the hotel 4 p.m., he said. So it essentially was setting him up, okay? Because, that's, again, it's deception. That's what these people do. They're children of the devil. Uh, both Muslims and Hindus will do this. But it says, uh, throughout the journey in Amherst, at Amherst Star, however you say that, we didn't talk much, uh, said Pastor Mark, a married father of two. Uh, he was working on his laptop and had a, had, a, had an iPhone, and so I thought he must be an educated man. I didn't find him suspicious, as he appeared to be a well-educated gentleman. He asked for my phone and set the location for directions to follow the route. As they approached the Celebrations Resort on and on the uh, Mech Mechatha Verka bypass, the road, the Sikh asked him to take uh, a small by lame, Pastor Mark said. There were some shops and I thought he would want to buy some refreshments or snacks, unquote. Uh, he said, uh, but he asked me to drive out of the by lane and as we got out of that route, out, out of that route adjustment to the resort, three men came on a scooter and stopped the taxi on the main road. The activist scooter, uh, the activist scooter did not have a license plate, he said Pastor Mark asked the Sikh if he knew the man and he replied that they were his friends. Now watch what these guys do to him. It's insane because this again shows the bloody, uh, b bloody violent demonic nature of Hinduism and how it's no different than Islam. So it says, uh, I park my, so he says I parked my taxi on the other, she said, this is the, how he's recounting the incident. I parked my taxi on the other side of the road and stood there. He said he asked me to take his bags out of the trunk and when I went to the, to the rear side of the taxi to take the bags out, the three men pounced on me with knives. They had cutters and knives and started slashing me as the sun jury, a uh, title used for Sikh men, looked on. The assailants cut his hands and caused internal injuries in his abdomen, he said. I was bleeding profusely and I started shouting for help, Pastor Mark told Morning Star News. Uh, when I started shouting for help, the three assailants crossed the road and ran away. Uh, and the Sar Sar Darjari, wh wh however you say it, was also trying to escape from the scene. Pastor Mark ran after him, shouting for him to stop. Oh yeah, again, you know, this is, again, because like I said, Sikhism is the same thing as Hinduism, really. Uh, this shows the kind of uh, violent, demonic, bloodthirsty nature of Hinduism and you know anything would happen like this in Pakistan you know it's no different because Islam Hinduism two sides of the same Luciferian coin you know and all he did was share a gospel tract you gotta love how just the their reaction for that whole thing but anyway it says he too ran in the same direction as the assailants he said he didn't pay me the taxi fare and instead was cussing at, uh, cussing at me as he ran from there. The pastor was unable to catch up with him. He said it was around 9 p.m. Hearing my screams, escort teams, the hotel security guards, came in their vehicles, but they were afraid seeing my blood, seeing my state in blood-soaked clothes, he said. Clothes, he said. They told me to go away from there, and I kept uh, asking them to tell me where is the nearest police station, and I shared what happened. Uh, he tied a piece of cloth around from his car around his waist to support his injured stomach and drove with one hand to the police station, he said. After Amherst Star police confiscated the 
the taxi and took his statement. Officers took him to a hospital. He said there he called his wife and Christian leaders in Ambala, and they helped uh, they helped connect him to church leaders in Amri Am- Star, who transferred him to the Guru Nanak Hospital. I guess I say it. But again, uh, we see this whole thing going on of you know any you know non Hindus you know because the Hindu scriptures are every bit as violent as the Muslim texts. Uh, there's numerous places in the Hindu scriptures that do call for the subjugation and violent conversion of Hindus, or basically of non-Hindus to the Hindu religion. So this kind of stuff is just an example of Hindus being true to their texts. Because again, the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists, they're just Hindus. Just like the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists, they're just Muslims. They're just being true to their uh, blasphemous, unholy, idolatrous book known as the Quran. Same thing with the Hindus to their idolatrous texts of Hinduism. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that uh, Hinduism is not peaceful or pluralistic by any long shot. It's every bit as totalitarian and barbaric and bloodthirsty as the Ishmaelite spirituality of, Ish- of Islam. You know. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.